Here's the problem the sequestration presents to us. Uh, that pie here, for those in the back who can't read it, let me just tell you that the right side where all this dash line is, this is stuff we can't touch. This is our program for the next five years. Over here is 17% of that program is readiness, 17% is modernization, about 8% is recapitalization. So that modernization, recapitalization, that 25%, we can divide any way we want. We can modernize, we can buy new, we can do whatever, but we had about 25% of our budget. The red block up there, 25, 26% is actually fenced. We can't touch that. Most of that is actually money that passes through the Air Force budget that isn't ours. It's going to the space business, it's going to the intelligence business. We, the Air Force can't really touch that money. The rest of it is stuff that we have to pay by law. We don't have an option of dealing with it. So 25% is off the table. Installation, civilian pay, and the military pay and people part of force structure, we can't get at. Installations and civilian pay, we can't touch at all right now. We can't touch military pay. And the only part of force structure we can touch is what we can get people to agree to let us close down. Right now, that's none of it. So the reality of sequestration, even if we can adjust the, the cost of people a little bit, which we are going to try very hard to do over time, it won't be a huge change. Even if we can adjust insulations to get rid of those things we think are excess, that may be 1% or so of our overall budget, so a billion dollars or so, which is a lot of money. We need to get after that money. But it's not going to pay the $12 billion a year we owe for sequestration. $12 billion is a lot of money. $12 billion, uh, just for example, for us to get $12 billion out of flying hours, we'd have to stop flying every airplane in the Air Force for two years. Completely stop everything for two years to get $12 billion, which is our bill each year. We'd have to turn off the lights and the utilities in every installation in our Air Force. Turn off all the electricity at every installation in our Air Force for 12 years to get that kind of savings. This is a big bill. And people who think you're going to make the savings by decreasing TDY accounts or cutting conferences or things like that or, or, or that we're going to get it out of bloated staff somehow aren't living in the reality of today. Those things will not get you to that level of savings. You're going to have to make significant cuts, significant changes in the way you operate.